Last time we got Garrus, and now we're off to get Rex, I believe. But first, we're gonna, we're gonna explore the Citadel. There's something I need to do, don't you? Hey, I know you. You're Shepard, right? Torfin was a case study during my training. I can't believe you took out the whole base. Amazing. Looks like you have a fan. I'm sorry, I just never thought I'd meet someone like you in person. Uh, my name's Lang, Officer Eddie Lang, Citadel Security. It's an honor to meet you, Commander. What are you doing down here in the wards? Anything I can help you with? Uh, I'm looking for Harkin. Do you know a CSEC officer named Harkin? I shouldn't really say too much. He's been on the force a lot longer than me. But I've heard things, you know? Drinking on the job, taking bribes, that kind of thing. Rumors mostly, but they suspended him, so some of it must be true. Alright, well, I you're not the person I was looking right. for. You're probably real busy. Well, see you around, Commander. Yeah. Doing it again. Commander Shepard? Excuse me, Commander Shepard! I'm Emily Wong. I'm an investigative journalist <laughs> working here on the Citadel. Could I have a moment of your time? Of course. What do you need? I've been hunting for evidence of corruption and organized crime on the Citadel, but there are places I can't go. I was hoping you might share anything you find during your own investigation. I can make it worth your time. Why me? You've got to have access to better sources. Why contact me? I'm using every source I can find, but I think I've got a better shot with you. I read about the Siege of Torfin, sending your men to their deaths, shooting slavers as they tried to surrender. I need someone who isn't afraid to get their hands dirty. Someone who'll do what needs to be done. That's you. Consider it done. Sounds like a good cause. If I find any information, it's yours. Thank you, Commander. You won't regret it. All right, well that set us up for something for later, hopefully. At least to what I remember. I don't think you buy this in here. I don't sell this. Now, uh, go to the. Actually, I don't remember where we need to go. Let's find that out first. Right. Um. Hello, Earth Clan. No doubt you've just come back from the colonies. Will you be needing supplies? Show me what you've got. Most excellent. I am sure you will. Okay. Let's see what he has for sale. Nothing. Commander Bert Shepard. Um. Where's the CSEC Academy? Okay, I guess. I will figure it out when I get there. Is 
that really? Apparently I was already down here and I just didn't realize it. In light of the recent attack on Eden Prime, many colonial investors are pulling their support for future projects. Proponents of expanded human colonization insist that Eden Prime also, was an isolated I, uh, case. Recently I saw a post that said sharply. anybody that picks many soldier for Mass Effect until backers is have some reassurance that human colonies pretty much a basic bitch. Protected. And I'm offended by that because... The only time I enjoyed playing Soldier was on Mass Effect 1 because of how the gun system worked. It was different. But we need to talk to that man right there first. Witnesses saw you making threats in Fist's bar. Stay away from him. I don't take orders from you. This is your only warning, Rex. You should warn Fist. I will kill him. You want me to arrest you? I want you to try. Go on. Get out of here. Do I know you, human? Um, you will know me. My name's Shepard. I'm going after Fist. Thought you might want to come along. <sighs> Shepard. Commander Shepard. I've heard a lot about you. We're both warriors, Shepard. Out of respect, I'll give you a fair warning. I'm going to kill Fist. Fist knows you're coming. We'll have a better chance if we all work together. My people have a saying. Seek the enemy of your enemy, and you will find a friend. I like that saying. I think we're gonna get along just fine, Rex. Let's go. I hate to keep Fist waiting. Awesome. So we're going to actually take uh, Rex and Varus with us and uh, not Varus, Garrus. Um, and basically these two are going to be the main party members throughout the duration of this game. Alright, now we have to go to Korra's Den. A Solarian excavation team has run into an unexpected problem after unearthing a Prothean dig site. Hanar protesters have blockaded the dig site, claiming that artifacts of the Enkindlers, as the Hanar call them, should not be disturbed. And we're running. I run very far, though. Then, I think we can take this rapid transport. Yes, sweet. So we'll go ahead and do that. We'll get Fist. And we'll be on our way. Oh, look at all those. This knows we're coming. Hold the line! Oh, my God.
contacts. Stop right there. Right, Don't come any closer. Let's see if we can talk our way out of this. All the real guards must be dead. Stay back or we'll shoot. You're making a mistake. I just killed 50 bodyguards to get in here. What do you think I'll do to you? Uh, well, uh, uh screw Fist. He doesn't pay us enough for this. See, talk our way out of here. Just kill them. Shooting people isn't always the answer. It's not. Sometimes you have to talk your way out of there. Get this decryption going. Uh... Oot. Take off. Okay, we're not going to peek out. Oh my god. Aw, oh, last save. That's probably going to put me back all the way before I went in there. Awesome, okay. Looks like it shut down. Right there, don't come any closer. Warehouse, will stay back or we'll shoot. I just no. all right. Now that we're done with that, we're gonna get this decryption done again, and we're not gonna not gonna lose. surrender all right well you better start talking tell me where the quarry is and i won't have to shoot you in the kneecaps she's not here i don't know where she is that's the truth he's no use to you now let me kill him wait wait i don't know where the quarry is but i know where you can find her the quarry isn't here said you'd only deal with the shadow broker himself face to face impossible even i was hired through an agent Nobody meets the Shadow Broker, ever. Even I don't know his true identity. But she didn't know that. I told her I'd set a meeting up. But when she shows up, it'll be Saren's men with Yes, her. son of a bitch. Show me where that meeting is before I blow your lying head off. Here on the wards, the back alley by the markets. She's supposed to meet them right now. You can make it if you hurry. What are you doing? The Shadow Broker paid me to kill him. 
I don't leave jobs half done. Oh, and he did deserve it. A lot of people died because of him. He had it coming. Now let's move. We have to save that quarian. Before we, while we're here, I mean, we may as well ransack the place. All right. Almost just made myself look like a fool. All right, there's more people in there. Move it, people. I'm on a mission. Did you bring it? Where's the shadow broker? Where's Fist? They'll be here. Where's the evidence? No way. The deal's off. Engaging target. Oh, God. He did? He did? Yeah. I knew I couldn't trust him. Um, give me the evidence. No, are you okay? Were you hurt in the fight? I know how to look after myself. Not that I don't appreciate the help. Who are you? I'm someone who saved your life. I don't have time for questions. I need the evidence you have against Saren. I guess I owe you. But not out here in the open. Ah, wow, we straight to the point. I like safe. it. We could take her to the human embassy. Your ambassador will want to see this anyway. Finally, Saren goes down. You're not making my life easy, Shepard. Firefights in the wards and all out assault on Korra's den. Do you know how many? Who's this? A Quarian? What are you up to, Shepard? Shut up, Udina. This quarian can help us bring down Saren. I would have told you that if you hadn't jumped down my throat. I apologize, Commander. This whole thing with Saren has me a bit on edge. Maybe we should just start at the beginning, Miss... My name is Tali. Tali Zora Naraya. We don't see many quarians here. Why did you leave the flotilla? I was on my pilgrimage. My rite of passage into adulthood. And what is a pilgrimage? I've never heard of this before. It is a tradition among my people. When we reach maturity, we leave the ships of our parents and our people behind. Alone, we search the stars, only returning to the flotilla once we have discovered something of value. In this way, we prove ourselves worthy of adulthood. And what is exactly something of value? What kinds of things do you look for? It could be resources like food or fuel, or some type of useful technology. Or even knowledge that will make life easier on the flotilla. Through our pilgrimage, we prove that we will contribute to the community, rather than being a burden on our limited resources. All right, well, go ahead and continue, Tally. Tell us what you found. During my travels, I began hearing reports of Geth. Since they drove my people into exile, the Geth have never ventured beyond the Vale. I was curious. 
I tracked a patrol of Geth to an uncharted world. I waited for one to become separated from its unit. Then I disabled it and removed its memory core. I thought the Geth fried their memory cores when they died. Some kind of defense mechanism. Is that true? How did you manage to preserve the memory core? My people created the Geth. If you're quick, careful, and lucky, small caches of data can sometimes be saved. Most of the core was wiped clean. But I salvaged something from its audio banks. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. That's Saren's voice. This proves he was involved in the attack. What's the conduit? He said Eden Prime brought him one step closer to finding the conduit. Any idea what that means? The conduit must have something to do with the beacon. Maybe it's some kind of Prothean technology. Like a weapon. Wait, there's more. Saren wasn't working alone. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. I don't recognize that other voice, the one talking about Reapers. Reapers sound familiar. I feel like I've heard that name before. According to the Memory Core, the Reapers were a hyper-advanced machine race that existed 50,000 years ago. The Reapers hunted the Protheans to total extinction, and then they vanished. At least, that's what the Geth believe. Sounds a little far-fetched. Well, it's not far-fetched. The vision on Eden Prime. I understand it now. I saw the Protheans being wiped out by the Reapers. The Geth revere the Reapers as gods, the pinnacle of non-organic life. And they believe Saren knows how to bring the Reapers back. The Council is just going to love this. Well, don't tell them. They won't believe you anyway. Just keep them out of this. We have to tell them. Even if they don't believe anything else, this proves Saren is a traitor. The Captain's right. We need to present this to the Council right away. What about her? The Quarian? My name is Tali. You saw me in the alley, Commander. You know what I can do. Let me come with you. What about your quest? I thought you were on your pilgrimage. The pilgrimage proves we are willing to give of ourselves for the greater good. What does it say about me if I turn my back on this? Saren is a danger to the entire galaxy. My pilgrimage can wait. All right, you could be useful. I'll take all the help I can get. Thanks. You won't regret this. Anderson and I will go ahead to get things ready with the Council. Take a few minutes to collect yourself, then meet us in the tower. Away to the tower. Excuse me, Commander Shepard. Could you spare a moment of your time? I could. Commander Shepard, my name is Samesh Bhatia. Forgive the intrusion, but I have nowhere else to turn. I'm listening. A lot of people want my help these days. What makes you special? My wife was a Marine. She was in the 212 on Eden Prime. I've requested that my wife's body be returned to me for cremation, but the military has refused my request. That's garbage. Why did they refuse your request? There's got to be some reason. I don't know. All I know is that they have declared it impossible for my wife to be returned to me. I'll find out why. We'll look into it. The man in charge of my case is Mr. Bosker. When I last saw him, he was in the expensive bar over there. Thank you for your time. I just want to give my wife a proper funeral. And the respect she deserves. Fancy bar, you say? I mean, since we're over here, we may as well. My goodness, you're Commander Shepard. Your activities made for quite a briefing in the Diplomatic Corps. Is there something I can do to assist you? Stop stealing corpses. You can cut the red tape for a grieving husband. I want you to release the body of Nirali Bacha. 
Commander, nothing would make me happier. I'm afraid, though, that it's not quite that simple. Serviceman Nerali Bhatia died on Eden Prime, as Mr. Bhatia no doubt told you. Her wounds are inconsistent with any type of weapon damage we've seen before. That is why her body is being held. She's being mauled. I don't care how badly the Geth mangled the body. It's the husband's right to claim her. We are not holding Nerali Bhatia's body out of discretion. We are, frankly, holding the body for research. The tests we're conducting may lead to better defenses against Geth attacks. Respectfully, Serviceman Bhatia may save more lives in death than she did in life. I'm releasing the body. You know who and what I am. If I want Nerali Bhatia, I can get her. Commander, I, I don't think threats are necessary. Even if the body were here on the Citadel, would you really risk going in shooting to get it? Yes, I would. You said you'd been briefed on me. How far do you think I'm willing to go on this? All right, Commander. You win. It was hard enough refusing Mr. Bhatia. I'm not going to risk an incident by refusing you. Tell Samesh that the body is being shipped back to Earth. I'll go now to see to it myself. You're damn right you're gonna give that man his wife's body back. Commander Burt, don't play no games. The mesh, good news. Hello again, Commander. Has there been any word? I took care Your wife of it. Is coming home, Mr. Batya. Thank you. I will return home and begin my preparations. It does not bring me happiness. But it may bring me peace. Goodbye, Commander. Goodbye, Samesh. Alright, well, I've just thrown a grenade down on the floor, so we're gonna pretend that that didn't happen. Let's go on and get done with this council meeting. Good. Let us go. On. Udin is presenting the Quarian's evidence to the Council. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. You wanted proof? There it is. This evidence is irrefutable, Ambassador. Saren will be stripped of his Spectre status and all efforts will be made to bring him in to answer for his crimes. I recognize the other voice, the one speaking with Saren. Matriarch Benezia. Is Matriarch Benezia. Who's she? Matriarchs are powerful Asari who have entered the final stage of their lives. Revered for their wisdom and experience, they serve as guides and mentors to my people. Matriarch Benezia is a powerful biotic and she had many followers. She will make a formidable ally for Saren. I'm more interested in the Reapers. What do you know about them? Only what was extracted from the Geth's memory core. The Reapers were an ancient race of machines that wiped out the Protheans. Then they vanished. And that's why they follow Saren. The Geth believe the Reapers are gods, and Saren is the prophet for their return. We think the Conduit is the key to bringing them back. Saren's searching for it. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Do we even know what this Conduit is? It's a, pro it's a problem. Saren thinks he can bring back the Reapers. That's bad enough. Listen to what you're saying. Saren wants to bring back the machines that wiped out all life in the galaxy? Impossible. It has to be. Where did the Reapers go? Why did they vanish? How come we found no trace of their existence? If they were real, we'd have found something. Don't be a fool. I tried to warn you about Saren, and you refused to face the truth. Don't make the same mistake again. This is different. You proved Saren betrayed the Council. We all agree he's using the Geth to search for the Conduit, but we don't really know why. The Reapers are obviously just a myth, Commander. A convenient lie to cover Saren's true purpose. A legend he is using to bend the Geth to his will. You're wrong. 50,000 years ago, the Reapers wiped out all galactic civilization. If Saren finds the Conduit, it will happen again. Saren is a rogue agent on the run for his life. He no longer has the rights or resources of a Spectre, the Council has stripped him of his position. That is not good enough. You know he's hiding somewhere in the Traverse. Send your fleet in! 
A fleet cannot track down one man. A citadel fleet could secure the entire region, keep the Geth from attacking any more of our colonies. Or it could trigger a war with the Terminus systems. We won't be dragged into a galactic confrontation over a few dozen human colonies. Send me. I can take Saren down. The commander's right. There is a way to stop Saren that doesn't require fleets or armies. No. It's too soon. Humanity is not ready for the responsibilities that come with joining the Spectres. Quit holding us back. It was a Turian Spectre who betrayed this council, and it was a human who exposed him. I've earned this. Commander Shepard, step forward. It is the decision of the Council that you be granted all the powers and privileges of the Special Tactics and Reconnaissance Branch of the Citadel. Spectres are not trained, but chosen. Individuals forged in the fire of service and battle. Those whose actions elevate them above the rank and file. Spectres are an ideal, a symbol, the embodiment of courage, determination, and self-reliance. They are the right hand of the Council, instruments of our will. Spectres bear a great burden. They are protectors of galactic peace, both our first and last line of defense. The safety of the galaxy is theirs to uphold. You are the first human Spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. About damn time. I've been ready for this since Eden Prime. We're sending you into the Traverse after Saren. He's a fugitive from justice, so you are authorized to use any means necessary to apprehend or eliminate him. Do we have any leads? Any idea where to find him? We will forward any relevant files to Ambassador Udina. This meeting of the Council is adjourned. Congratulations, Commander. We've got a lot of work to do, Shepard. You're going to need a ship, a crew, supplies. You'll get access to special equipment and training now. You should go down to the CSEC Academy and speak to the Spectre Requisitions Officer. Anderson, come with me. I'll need your help to set all this up. <laughs> Bastard didn't even thank you. Figures. What do you expect from a politician? Come on. Right behind you, Shepard. Awesome. Did we get a level up? We did! Spectre training. Elite agents of the council grants unity ability. Restores dead spot members? Yes. So I think, honestly, we should probably just get that right away. We are doing hardcore, and bringing back the teammates is needed. Um, Garrus, on the other hand, we're just gonna auto level him up. Same with Rex. We're just gonna auto level him up and let him be on his way. And now that we're done, Spectre Bert will see everyone in the next episode.